Welcome to the BBS online video tutorial where I'll be running you through how to enter data for the breeding bird survey or the waterways breeding bird survey. Note you will only be able to do this if you have been allocated a site by your regional organiser. First thing you'll want to do is log in using your BTO username and password. and you'll be met with the BBS Online Data Homepage. From the BBS Online Homepage, you're able to enter and edit data, view the routes for the squares or stretches that you're allocated, and view historic data for the sites. You can also see the sites currently allocated to you and access the email address of your regional organiser. To the right there's a function for details and settings and in here you can update things like paper preferences, how many BBS reports you'd like to receive and various aspects of the data entry page. But let's start entering some BBS data. Once in the data entry page you'll be able to see the sites allocated to you, view the maps enter recce data such as habitat information or mammal data and enter data for early and late visits. By clicking on the sector you'd like to enter data for it will open the data entry page. From here we start to work our way through the form filling in the details as required. To start with a visit date time and the weather details. You can then close this section and move on to habitat details. These will likely be pre-populated from your previous visits but if not the drop down boxes will appear as you enter habitat data. I'll show you using the secondary habitat. Again, you can close this section as you move on to the birds. Remember to indicate whether you recorded detection type during the survey. This can't be changed halfway through data entry. To start entering the species, you can enter either the species name or the two letter code, it's up to you. And I use the tab button to move from one cell to the next and the associated numbers or letters to select from the drop down boxes. You can also use the copy down button if you wish. Once you've filled in all the bird species recorded Again, you can close that and move on to your mammal records. If you recorded mammals but did not see any or any signs of mammals, please select yes and leave the rest blank. If not, select no. Once you've completed the form, press submit transect section. You can then look through the species that you have entered. You can change the order that in which these appear and you could edit the submission if needed. From here, return to data entry to start data entry for the second sector. And again, you repeat the process, press on the blue cross to open the next sector along and start entering the data for there. Now we're at the data homepage having entered the data for our early visit and we've gone into the Your Data tab. Looked at the early visit entries and we've spotted an error, common crossfill. So we need to edit the data and change that to Carrion Crow. So go back to Data Home 
and revisit the Enter Edit Data page. From here, go into the sector with the error, select Edit Transect Section Data, and this will reopen the data entry page for you. Scroll down to the error. Simply change the species. It was flying and seen, and there were three of them. Once that's all been corrected, check through the other data, and then press Save Changes. And Crossbill is now a crow. From here you can return to data entry.